My name is Philomena Milano. Hi, tonight we're talking about the Catholic Daughters of the Americas. The Catholic Daughters was started in 1903. It is the largest organization in the United States of Catholic women. Currently we have 63,000 members in 1,150 courts. Our motto is unity and charity for all. And our mission is to help all people and charities across the country and in the world. <laughs> and I'm very proud to say that our national organization has just donated $10,000 towards the people in the Ukraine. And the state of New Jersey, which I represent, I'm the uh, secretary for the state, we've also matched that and donated $10,000. So local courts will follow and donate to the Ukraine. That is an example of the charity work we've done. Uh, through the years, over 100 years, 1903 to date, there's many things you can read about of the Catholic Daughters on our website, which is the Catholic Daughters of the Americas. Good evening. I'm Judy Locke, the Regent of Court 310 here at St. Mary of the Lake. Um, Catholic Daughters is uh, involved with the basic needs of those individuals that need our help through compassion, care, and love. Hi, I'm Connie Fossa. Uh, I've been a member of this parish for 46 or 7 years. Uh, we moved here as a, a young family, and at that time uh, I met people within the parish uh, who chose to start a women's club in Lakewood and Jackson area. Uh, we were all young adults starting to raise our children and uh, we just loved um, being able to um, get together, help our friends and uh, and our neighbors who are in need uh, and uh, found out later uh, that there was a Catholic Daughters here uh, so Catholic Daughters has been existent here in, in um, St. Mary of the Lake, Court 310, since 1917. They started as the Daughters of Isabella about the same time that the Knights of Columbus um, started uh, working with Father McGreevy in New Haven, Connecticut. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm saying that because um, that's a family history for me. Uh, and sharing in the Catholic Daughters helps me share in all the good things that I learned growing up and, and in helping my parish um, as uh, being able to follow uh, the Lord in, in a way that we take care of our own, our friends and loved ones, and also those who need our help as much as... Um, so we did, they have developed over the years many, many things that they've worked with. They've worked with Catholic charities, they've worked with the, the food banks, they had, um, they've worked with um, Habitat for Humanity, uh, and in doing that they've also, also had some fun getting together and um, as a wonderful women's club uh, that, uh, you know, was known pretty well all over. We want to grow again. We want to get to know our new neighbors, our new our our neighbors from different areas, and and keep us going so that we can all, as one family and one church family, work together. So that's what I feel about Catholic daughters, and um, and we've been praying together. We pray a lot, and there's a lot of things we can do. I brought some time. My name is Judy Legas. I am the recording secretary for the Catholic Daughters of the Americas. And uh, this organization is very special to me because during my deepest, darkest times and difficult times, the parish of Our Lady of Guadalupe uh, came through for me with lots of emotional and moral support. And with this group, I feel that I can give back now to people who need the same, uh, people who need financial support, uh, physical support, emotional support. Uh, we are a group who helps people in need and um, we hope to continue doing that. One of the things that we are currently doing for this meeting is we are collecting uh, chocolate Easter bunnies for the St. Vincent de Paul basket project, Easter basket project. They will be putting together 
uh, baskets for families in need and we as a group uh, are helping them by collecting chocolate Easter bunnies for them to put in the baskets. So we do welcome everyone to come. We hope that more people join us. The more people that join us, the more work that we can get done and the more good that we can do for our community. I'm Gloria Molinero and I uh, am a member of the Catholic Daughters Court 310 of St. Mary the Lake. Since I, I think it's close to 20 years now, um, I moved down to uh, Tom's River 24 years ago and I was going to another church and then I sort of started coming here and I really love St. Mary's and now with the merging of the churches and all the priests that we have, I really am in love with St. Mary's. When I came in, I wanted to join, I'm a joiner. And so I joined the Rosary, Rosarians and I joined, um, one of the members has passed on, you know, brought me into the Catholic Daughters also. And I wanted to, to mention some of the things that we have done through the years my memory serves me right. There probably are more than this, but this is what I can remember. We used to have a very large group of people, and I did recruit. I'm not saying I never did. I'm very proud to say that our region is my recruit, mm -hmm. and I'll tell you how I got her. I got her from, I was running the Christmas parties, and I always invited the Knights of Columbus, so then I would talk to their wives and see if they wanted to join. But moving on, we had two flea markets every year, and this is how we raised our money to do many of our worthwhile projects. Uh, one of them was uh, on the corner outside of this of this church, Holy Family, there's a sign that's lit. Well, that, that was one of our projects. That was an expensive thing, but we felt we wanted it. Um, we also uh, purchased two nativity scenes uh, that they go on the altar of St. Mary's and of Holy Family. And I believe, if I'm, I might be wrong, I believe they come from Italy. Um, okay, we, um, we, at this time of year, at this meeting, we would be filling Easter baskets. So it's very appropriate that we tonight collected Easter bunnies and, um, for, the, for the food project. Uh, we also had, uh, we also always served at the picnics, the church picnics. We always worked with the Knights of Columbus doing that. Um, I remember a very important day, uh, Make a Difference Day, going back several years ago. As a matter of fact, St. Anthony's was where we brought all the coats and people came to get the coats. That was such a rewarding day. We also had scholarships for the children, I say scholarships, but awards for essays and so forth. We did that every year for the Holy uh, Family students, that was. And um, in, in May, I believe it was May, we had a red, white, and blue um, auction. And the money that we got from that, we gave to Ronald McDonald House. Uh, we, we, also, um, we also did, uh, oh, we, one of the things that I love that we did for ourselves was every year we had a, a mass for our deceased members. And I'm saying for the last two years, it's been hard to do any of the things that I'm mentioning but uh, we're hoping to get back onto that. Um, we also had, uh, from the state, from the state, we went on a yearly retreat day over at St. Alphonse, and, um, and that, was, that was wonderful, that was fantastic, so maybe we can get back to that. And um, we also have, as a group of the Rosarians, gone to, um, and I can't think of the name of the, ch of the churches over uh, in Lavalette, right on the water. Um, but we had a day of recollection there. Uh, another item we did, I mean, we would collect paper goods for Providence House. Providence House is like a, a safe place for women who are battered. Um, we have for years been working on the, uh, you know, a right to life, making layettes, doing all of this. There is so much we have done. I, I'm just so proud to be a member. Thank you. Hello, I'm Joe Oliveri, and I'm a brand new member of the Daughters because I was invited by a, a, by a, a member that I have become a member. And I must say, I, I respect everything you stand for and everything that you do, and I feel very honored to be a part of this group. Um, to be a member, you have to be 18 years old and you have to be of Catholic faith, and I certainly do fit that. <laughs> um, at the last meeting, I was given an assignment, and I have to say, 
I failed. I was to make the coffee tonight. <laughs> and the, the pot wasn't working, so I had to get help from some of the older members. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you, ladies, for inviting me. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, welcome, everyone, to the Catholic Daughters of um, Our Lady of Guadalupe and Holy Family and St. Mary of the Lake. Um, we meet every Thursday, every first Thursday of the month, uh, usually at 7 p.m. in Holy Family Community Center. Um, I'm Yancy Merkel, and um, I am a newly in inducted <laughs> member, I think is what it's called. Um, so I really don't have a lot of experience. However, I am enjoying my um, stay here and being part of this group. Um, Again, in order to join, you have to be 18 years of old and of Catholic faith. Um, I've been a member of Holy Family and St. Mary of the Lake for about 20 years, um, and I hope that my children join um, soon. And um, this is a great organization where we help uh, those in need. And I think that we need all the help we can get, so please come, join. Um, all you need to do is come to a meeting, find out what we do, and if you feel moved to become a member, please do so. Um, we need anyone who would like to be part of an organization that helps their community. Again, young ladies. So thank you very much. Good evening. My name is June Chernitz, and I'm a new member. Um, just a few months. Uh, I was brought in by a friend, a neighbor friend, uh, to join the Catholic Daughters. Um, I'm big on volunteering and stuff like that. I've been a uh, big volunteer and uh, uh, with the Girl Scouts of the Jersey Shore and Girl Scouts of the heart of New Jersey for over 45 years. So I was looking for uh, some more uh, activity in helping people and Connie had told me that, that the, the, the Catholic Daughters were looking for new members so that's why I joined. Um, I went to their your first October meeting, and at the October meeting, they were collecting paper products for battered women at the safe house in Long Branch, the Providence Safe House. And I thought that was a very, very nice place to start off with volunteering. Uh, from that point on in October, we did a huge sock collection for the refugees uh, at the Lakehurst base in uh, uh, Lakehurst. Uh, in November, we collected food products, food products and coats for uh, St. Vincent de Paul, and we invited the, some of the members to come to our meeting to collect the items that we had uh, collected for them. And I think we had about maybe 20 coats, 20 or 30 coats and food products and baskets. Um, in December, we collect, of course, we don't leave our, our furry animal f uh, friends uh, out on this. We collected some uh, food and blankets for the animals uh, at the Ocean County Animal Center shelter. And uh, January, we don't have meetings January and February, so you don't have to worry about schlepping out in the bad weather for a meeting. <laughs> so uh, our March meeting, we collect, we were supposed to be collecting some uh, layette sets for the uh, donations uh, that they have for the uh, Crown during uh, the month of May. Um, I believe they're supposed to be delivering these baskets to uh, women uh, in, uh, in uh, I'm not sure where it is, in, in, uh, in June we're supposed to do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm just taking notes. Uh, uh, we did a red, white, and blue auction in uh, July, and then that proceeds goes to Ronald McDonald House, which you mentioned. Um, August is going to be our spirituality month. September, we're going to do back to, again, we're going to go back to the uh, Providence uh, Safe House. Again, we're going to follow the same routine each month and work with the October, the socks for the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the needy people who are in our area, in our, our Ocean County. November, we're doing again the fo food for uh, St. Vincent de Paul and the animal shelter again in December. So that's what I'm looking forward to doing. I Please join us, the Catholic Orders.